After a capital injection of close to $8 billion by government into Colonial Life Insurance Company Limited Clico, thousands of policyholders are yet to be paid. One such person, Kaim Ali, told CNC3 News that his U.S. dollar fixed deposit account matured on July 15th, and when he visited the office on St. Vincent Street on Tuesday, he was told the company cannot say when he would be paid. After six months, then they would see if they could pay 100000 a month. I have an unfinished building in my hand. I owe the bank. I have no income coming in. My tenants is complaining to me every day that it's getting wet. The yard is unfinished and things like that. Mr. Ali showed us an incomplete building, which he claims the bank has threatened to repossess since he cannot afford to meet the monthly mortgage payment. Holding up the Clico policy, Mr. Ali says he felt he has been deceived by Clico officials in opening the U.S. account. All those big boys in Clico still getting our salary, they still sit down in office, still drawing money, and all of them driving around with bodyguard and security. What happened to us? We can't reach to them. No money at all. We must just stay like this. The disgruntled policyholder claims he was told to return next Tuesday, but remains unsure of what the outcome would be. He's now calling on the finance minister to assist. I know asking if the minister of finance, like Mr. Dukaran, could understand what this pe people is doing with poor people, innocent people money that, you know, I plan my business, that when this policy up, I could finish the building, and I don't know what it is happening. It was only on Wednesday that Finance Minister Winston Dukaran told the American Chamber that Clico's problems stem from bad corporate governance and lapses in the regulatory laws. For CNC3, I'm Roshan Sukram.